Hey, it's me, Tommy, and this is OC's new monitor, the LCM215 HDR+. This is different from OC's last monitor that I reviewed. That one was OC's newest 15.6 inch monitor, and this is OC's newest 21 inch monitor, well, 21 and a half inches. The difference between this one and OC's previous monitors is this one gets up to 1500 nits of brightness. I have no concept of what a number of nits is in terms of how bright it is and what is the maximum brightness and what, well, how useful is that? So I took this monitor out into direct sunlight and let the sunlight shine onto the screen and also backlit by the sunlight, a couple of different scenarios to see how bright this monitor actually was. So even if you have sunlight directly hitting the monitor, it's still perfectly visible and works really well. So this monitor is plenty bright for anything you can throw at it which is awesome. Now, when this monitor showed up, I also moved up from the 15 inch monitor into the 21.5 inch monitor. And because I live stream all the time, this has been very useful for me. Because the way I use these monitors is I have two wireless, a wireless transmitter plugged into my ATEM Mini Pro, which gives me this multi-view out. Uh, so the wireless transmitter transmits into the HDMI in port of this monitor and just like the previous one see here's the transmitter the monitor has a usb out power port so you can power a device over usb like the mars 300 receiver and so that's how i'm getting the signal into the monitor and it's it's really useful to just wheel around a camera angle or you know just use this monitor wirelessly without having it to be tethered onto something else the way i have it mounted is to just a magic arm and a super clamp onto this rolling stand. So it's not incredibly heavy though. Um, you know, you're going to want to make sure you sandbag your light stand <laughs> and everything is the way I have it set up is just completely wireless. I like that it is VMAP battery powered. So you can just plug in a VMAP battery and go on your way or you can power it with AC and it comes with the AC power cable. I also really like that it has the C stand mount right here so you can attach it to, you know, C stand or a light stand or a magic arm like I've done. So anyways, yeah, I usually leave this thing mounted here and then I have a camera mounted also to this stand with a 35 millimeter lens. And then I just kind of position this whole stand in front of my desk while I do these videos. And I'll turn off the multi-view and I'll just have the single, the single camera view so I can see, you know, myself for reference, confidence or whatever. It's easy to check focus, but I actually just started recently using the exposure tools on these monitors um, for, I don't know why I haven't done it in the past, but uh, you can program these four hotkeys to do whatever you want. You can have the first one set up to mute the headphones or the audio if I don't have headphones plugged in because this monitor does have speakers built in. I have the focus assist tools. If I'm reviewing a manual lens, it's really useful to have that. Now I only recently started using uh, false color and it's fantastic. I know that the LUT that I created to match my A7S III over to the red Komodo colors I need my skin tones to be right between about 50 and 60 if I'm recording in S-Log3. So depending on whatever my lighting is, I just have to turn on false color, look at my skin tones and make sure that it's a bright green and then I'm good to go. And then I can just turn that off. If I need to, I also have the zebras. You can turn the zebras and the false color on at the same time. So if you have anything that's overexposed, then you'll know right away. The, the things to consider if you're kind of on the fence between the uh, between the 21 and a half inch versus their like 15 inch model. If you're worried about battery life, uh, this monitor is larger and significantly brighter. So it will drain through batteries a lot faster. I've noticed something like the 98 watt hour Bebobs, um, those will last me like one live stream um, with this monitor. Whereas on the 15 inch monitor, uh, that one will last, you know, three or four live streams because this one is bigger and a lot brighter. And in, in fact, it's so bright that if I have false color turned on, it will cast, um, it'll cast pink and purple colors onto my skin and change my entire lighting setup. So you don't always need a super bright monitor, especially indoors. Uh, it might be too bright for your situation or you'll have to flag off the light. Uh, it's, it's really only a problem if you're filming yourself because if you have someone else referencing the monitor or working the camera, then you know the, the talent won't have to see the monitor. <laughs> but for me, having a super bright monitor with false color will 
make all of my shadows pink. So, so in that case, I have to remember to either turn off the false color or use a smaller monitor or turn the brightness way down on this monitor. Uh, when I turn the brightness above four, the internal fans on this monitor will turn on, which is fine because indoors four is already brighter than the brightest that the previous monitor that I was using is. It's it's very bright. I just keep it at four or below uh, because five or above turns on the fans and then it just gets way too bright and it will change my lighting indoors. If you're outdoors, you can bump the brightness up to 10 and I mean, you probably won't even hear the fans. It's not a big deal. They're, I mean, they're kind of annoying and noisy, but when I'm indoors, again, I always have it below five, so the fans will never turn on. And the monitor costs uh, $1,700, well, $1,750. But for the first month that it's on sale from April 26th to like the middle of May at some point, uh, it's 25% off and it is $1,300. So if you wanna pick this monitor up, it's fantastic. It works in direct sunlight. Just be aware that it will drain through batteries a little bit faster. If you have AC power, it's no problem. If you're on battery power, bring extra batteries. Uh, but that's that's to be expected if you're trying to get a monitor so bright that you can look at it in direct sunlight without a sun hood. Uh, it does not come with a carrying case. It does come with a sun hood. If you're trying to flag off the light from hitting your talent or whatever you're filming, it'll work indoors. Or if you just don't wanna have, if you wanna conserve battery life, obviously you can use this as a sun hood. Or if you just wanna protect the screen from sun damage, and UV damage, then you can use the sun hood. It does come with a sun hood and the sun hood works fine. Personally, I don't use it because it takes up a little bit more space and space is my kind of premium in here. And it does come with an insert for Pelican case. You'll have to buy the Pelican case separately, but it does come with the foam inserts to fill that Pelican case with your monitor. But it doesn't actually come with a production case or a travel case. Keep that in mind, that's what you're getting for the price. You get a fantastic monitor that is just like the 15.6 inch monitor, but it's larger, a lot brighter, uh, but they've got pretty much the same features. SDI ports in and out. You can take HDMI in, it has the USB power, it comes with a VMAP battery power, and you can mount it to a stand. Uh, it's a great monitor, I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I'd wanna go any larger than 21 and a half inches, uh, because it's just, Beyond that, it becomes kind of unwieldy and I wouldn't ever want to move it around. But now um, I've set up this whole Stream Deck and ATEM mini setup so I can just pick a clip on my computer's finder and then run that clip through this monitor. And I can see really plainly my A cam, what it looks like, what clip is running on OBS and all my other cameras really easily. So thanks OC for sending out this monitor. I've replaced the 15 inch monitor in my workflow with this one and it's it's fantastic. I personally like having both on hand because the 15 inch monitor came with that travel case and it takes less battery power. So if I'm gonna take it out to go film something, I can just pick it up like a suitcase, take one or two, one or two batteries and I know they'll be set for the whole day. Uh, with this one, I need to get the Pelican case. I need to take a lot more batteries and it's just heavier. And so that those are my thoughts. I think this is a great monitor. I think they're both great monitors. Uh, just get the right one for you. Uh, all right. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.